Did you know that in 1925 you could buy a brand new car for less than $300? It's hard to imagine today, but nearly a century ago, the Ford Model T runabout revolutionized the automotive industry and changed the way Americans lived and traveled. This wasn't just any car. It was the vehicle that put the world on wheels. In this video, we will explore 10 surprising facts about the 1925 Ford Model T runabout that might be new to you. So stick around till the end to find out. Fact number 10. Available in any color. Let's start with a famous quote attributed to Henry Ford. Any customer can have a car painted any color that he wants, so long as it is black. This statement, often associated with the Model T, actually has an interesting twist regarding the 1925 runabout. A contrary to popular belief, the Model T wasn't always just black. In its early years, from 1908 to 1913, the Model T was available in gray, green, blue, and red. However, by 1925, Ford had indeed standardized on black for all its models, including the runabout. But why black? It wasn't just about Henry Ford's personal preference. The choice of black was a practical one. The Japan black paint used on the Model T was durable, cheap, and dried faster than other colors. This faster drying time was crucial for Ford's revolutionary moving assembly line, allowing for quicker production and, ultimately, lower costs for consumers. Fact number 9. The unconventional controls. The 1925 runabout had a control system that would baffle most drivers today. First off, there was no gas pedal. Instead, the Model T had three pedals on the floor. The left pedal was used to engage first gear when pressed halfway and second gear when fully released. The middle pedal engaged in reverse and the right pedal operated the transmission brake. Surprisingly, the accelerator was a lever on the steering wheel. Next to it was another lever controlling the spark timing. This meant that driving a Model T required a complex dance of hands and feet that would challenge even the most coordinated drivers today. Starting the car was an adventure in itself. There was no ignition key. Instead, drivers had to adjust the spark and throttle levers, then get out and crank the engine by hand. This was inconvenient and dangerous. A backfire could cause the crank to spin backward, potentially breaking the driver's arm. Fact number eight, incredibly affordable. In 1925, the Ford Model T runabout was priced at a mere $260. This incredibly low price was no accident. It was the result of Henry Ford's relentless pursuit of efficiency and his pioneering use of the moving assembly line. When the Model T was first introduced in 1908, it cost $825. Over the years, Ford constantly refined his production methods, allowing him to drop the price dramatically. The affordability of the Model T was revolutionary. Before its introduction, cars were luxury items, affordable only to the wealthy. The Model T changed all that. Its low price meant that for the first time, average working class Americans could afford to own a car. The 1925 runabout at its rock bottom price represented the pinnacle of Ford's mission to create a car for the masses. It's no wonder that by 1925, Ford had sold over 15 million Model Ts, with the runabout being one of the most popular models. Fact number seven, versatility. The 1925 Ford Model T runabout was a multi-purpose vehicle that could adapt to various uses. Farmers in particular found the Model T an invaluable tool. They could transform their runabout into a makeshift tractor with some simple modifications. By removing a rear wheel and attaching a belt to the hub, the Model T could power a wide range of farm equipment, from water pumps to corn shellers, sawmills to hay balers. In more urban settings, businesses adapted the runabout for deliveries. Its simple, robust design made it easy to modify for specific needs, some were even converted into early campers, demonstrating that the idea of the RV isn't as modern as we might think. Fact number six, unique suspension system. The 1925 Ford Model T runabout featured a suspension system that was both innovative and remarkably effective for its time. This system's heart was the transverse semi-elliptical spring for each axle. Unlike modern cars with individual springs for each wheel, the Model T used a single spring that ran across the car's width for both the front and rear axles. This design allowed for a great deal of wheel movement, which was crucial for handling the rough, unpaved roads of the 1920s. Fact number five, the Model T runabout engine. While the 1925 Ford Model T runabout might seem primitive by today's standards, its engine was surprisingly advanced for its time. 
Its engine was a 2.9-liter four-cylinder engine that produced around 20 horsepower. The Model T's engine block was made from cast iron, but Ford used a lightweight alloy called vanadium steel for many of the engine's internal components. This made the engine both durable and lighter than many of its contemporaries. Another innovative feature was the removable cylinder head. This might not sound impressive today, but in 1925, it was a significant advancement. It allowed for easier maintenance and repair, which was crucial given the state of roads and the frequency of breakdowns in those days. Fact number four, role in women's liberation. It might surprise you to learn that the 1925 Ford Model T runabout played a significant role in the women's liberation movement of the early 20th century. The affordable and relatively easy to operate Model T gave women unprecedented mobility and independence. Before the Model T, travel options for women were limited. Horses were seen as too dangerous. Its affordable price meant that many middle-class families could own one, and its simpler controls made it accessible to women drivers. The Model T also played a role in the suffrage movement. Suffragists used Model Ts to campaign in rural areas, spreading their message to communities that were previously difficult to reach. The image of women confidently driving these vehicles challenged traditional gender roles and stereotypes. Fact number three, tremendously fast. In an age where we're used to cars easily cruising at highway speeds, the top speed of the 1925 Ford Model T runabout might seem laughably slow. But consider this. In 1925, the speed limit in most parts of the United States was just 20 to 25 miles per hour. The Model T runabout could reach 40 to 45 miles per hour speeds, making it quite zippy for its time. This speed was more than adequate for the road conditions of the day and in fact was often faster than many roads could safely handle. The runabout model, being lighter than other Model T variants, was particularly nippy. Fact number two, nickname the Tin Lizzy. The nickname Tin Lizzy originated from a race held at Pikes Peak in Colorado in 1922. A Model T owned by Noel Bullock called Old Liz participated in the race despite its worn out appearance. Spectators mocked the car's shabby condition, dubbing it the Tin Lizzy. However, the Tin Lizzy defied expectations, winning the race against more expensive and better maintained cars. The nickname stuck, becoming a beloved moniker for the Model T. Despite its appearance, Bullock's Model T had a secret weapon, its simplicity and reliability. The rugged design of the Model T, with its high ground clearance and durable components, proved advantageous on the rough and unpaved course of the Pikes Peak race. The race required not just speed, but also the ability to navigate challenging terrain, which the Model T handled with surprising ease. Fact number one, the Model T did not cause prohibition. Contrary to some conspiracy theories, the Ford Model T did not cause prohibition. There are claims that Henry Ford designed the Model T to run on ethanol instead of gasoline, and that oil magnate John D. Rockefeller convinced the U.S. government to introduce prohibition to ensure the car ran on gasoline. While it's true that Henry Ford experimented with using fermented plants as fuel, he never made the switch to ethanol because gasoline was incredibly cheap at the time. The Prohibition era from 1920 to 1933 was primarily driven by social and political factors not the automotive industry's fuel preferences. This myth likely stems from Henry Ford's known interest in agricultural products as fuel sources. He was a strong advocate for the use of ethanol, which can be produced from corn and other crops, and even experimented with using it in his cars. What do you think is the most fascinating fact about the Model T? Have you ever seen a Model T in person or even had the chance to ride in one? Let us know in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.